So she's blaming the local police in Pennsylvania there. Kimberly Cheetle, S- Secret Service Director, placed there by Jill Biden, uh, another major help to this country. While well, she is helping the country in, in, in a very odd way, she is really insisting that her husband stay the nominee of the Democratic Party. Yeah. So in this final moments of their public life, what well, may not be final moments, obviously. I don't know what the election result will be. But approaching the final moments of their public life she is doing a great service but she pushed in her friend Kimberly Cheadle because she's a big believer Jill Biden because after all I think she has a, a doctorate right uh, she's Dr. Jill Biden no yeah okay so as in a doctorate as in a doctorate right not an MD I understand but it doesn't even matter MD anymore I don't see any difference between I don't I don't assume MD anymore tells me anything good about you. You may be great. Doctors have saved my life. I've said it a hundred times. But it, it, it I, I I know nothing about your wisdom, character, common sense, or values. If I know you're an MD, nothing. Okay, that's all. About PhD, then I sort of assume you don't think clearly. So it's a slightly lower degree than MD. She said the local police were inside the building where the gunmen had been shooting from and were told they were responsible for the security around the building. By the way, if that's true, that is important. You, the Secret Service, don't have to worry about security. We, the local police, will. But if that's true, since when the local police say that, isn't it the Secret Service's job to protect presidents and, and former presidents? I, I, I. So the, the whole thing is odd. I mean, they. she may be telling the truth, but it's odd. There were local police in that building. There was local police... That's, that's her language. There was local police in that area that were responsible for the outer perimeter of the building. Another re- large reason why there may not have been security on the roof where Thomas Matthew Crooks was located to make an assassination attempt is that the building had a sloped roof and would be a safety concern. That's strange. Secret Service can't guard sloped roofs. So while the guys on top of the roof, there are cops inside? Yes, there were cops inside. That's right. Like under him. Under him. That's right. That's correct. It reminds you of uh, the cops in that uh, Texas City. 150 yards the outer perimeter? I'm sorry? 150 yards away is the outer perimeter? That seems like they're not very far away. It's not very far away. That's correct. According to a report from the Daily Mail, Cheadle told ABC News, that building in particular has a sloped roof at its highest point, and so you know there's a safety factor that would be considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. A safety factor with regard to Secret Service? Of a sloped roof? How did the kid get up there? So you know the decision was made to secure the building from inside. My, my friends, do you understand how close this country came to civil strife, uh, the likes of which we have not seen perhaps since the Civil War? Are people aware of the staggering failure of this woman she this woman should be fired or resign but there is no accountability on the left it is a non-issue pete Buttigieg should could continue to be 
transportation secretary? <laughs> All right, well. I was uh, talking to my producer about the parents of this shooter. I think about that all the time. I read I read the autobiography of the mother of one of the Columbine mass murdering students. I have no I don't know these people. You don't know these people from Adam obviously. The parents of this young monster it's uh, so i have i have no idea how the the child was raised but i do i do want to say something that i have said very often and it uh, everybody should be aware of this whether you're a parent or you know parents and everybody knows parents cuz they were raised by parents We are not manufactured, for the most people are not manufactured, we're created by our parents, if they're biological parents. If they're not biological parents, then we're non-biologically created by them. But we're not manufactured by them, that's, that's the point. Parents are not usually responsible for great children, and they're not usually responsible for horrific children. Nor at least not entirely responsible. They're partially responsible, I imagine, in both cases. The Secret Service, the destruction of the Secret Service by the left, and this, this truly destructive notion of diversity, equity, and inclusion... For the full episode of The Dennis Prager Show, go to PragerTopia.com, sign up, and become a full member.